Hi all, welcome to EG Mendo. The syllabus we are going to discuss is for the 6th semester KTU students. And this subject is really important for all the competitive exams like GATE, NET, etc. So this is the course code for the subject CST302 Compiler Design. This is the first subject for this semester. So let's analyze the syllabus. So here we can see that compiler design is having credit for that means it's really important subject. You can also score high marks in this subject because this subject is comparatively easier. And the marking scheme is just like any other subject. The marking scheme is like total 150 marks. Out of the 150 marks, 50 will be your internal, continuous internal evaluation, 50 marks. And the end semester examination or your final university examination will be for 100 marks. And here you can see the mark split tabs also for the internal evaluation. The mark split up is given here. You can go through that. So let's jump towards the syllabus. So this is the syllabus for compiler design. Here the modules are divided into five. And the first module is introduction to compilers and lexical analysis. So the first module, it tells about what a compiler is, what are the different phases of a compiler, how a source program is converted to a target program. That means the analysis of a source program is discussed here. In the phases of a compiler, you will be learning about the structure of a compiler, general structure you will be learning. And in the upcoming modules, you will be learning about each of these phases in detail. So actually this first module is divided into two. The first half tells you about the introduction to compilers. That means here you can see the analysis of source program, analysis and synthesis phases, phases of a compiler, compiler writing tools and bootstrapping. In this portion, the most important topic is the phases of a compiler. Phases of a compiler as well as this compiler writing tools. Both these questions are asked repeatedly in the university question papers. So, these two questions are really important. You have to stress on those portions very well. In telling about the phases of compiler, I will, I will just show you one image. And here you can see that the compiler is divided into six phases. That is lexical analysis phase, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation phase, code optimization phase and the last one is code generation phase. So the phases of a compiler or the structure of a compiler is divided into six different phases and the six different phases you can see here. But in some textbooks or in some images you can see it as seven phases. I'll tell you why it is. Here the fifth phase, the code optimization phase, here you can see it as only single phase. But in some images or in some textbook, the code optimization is done twice. One, just before the code generation phase, that is in this same position. And the second phase will be after the code generation phase. So in some textbook, you can see two code optimizations. One will be before the code generation phase and one will be, the after, uh, one will be after the code generation phase. So the one which is before code generation phase, that is the one shown here, the code optimization phase shown here will be the machine independent code optimization and the one that comes after the code generation phase is the machine dependent code optimization. So that's why in some textbooks you can see it as seven different phases. And we both the figures are uh, correct, so you can choose any of the two. So in the upcoming modules, you will be learning in detail about each of these phases. The entire compiler design subject is about these phases only. So we will go back to the syllabus. So the first half is about the introduction to compilers and the second half is about the first phase of compiler that is lexical analyzer. And in the remaining portions, you can see the role of lexical analyzer, input buffering, specification of tokens and recognition of tokens. And most probably there will be a three mark question regarding this token. Now coming over to the second module. Second module tells you about the introduction to syntax analysis. In the syntax analysis you will be remembering syntax analysis is the second phase of compiler. So the second module tells you about the second phase of the compiler. Actually the module 2 as well as the module 3 
is telling about the second phase only. Here, the bottom up parsing. Bottom up parsing is also a part of syntax analysis. So, the module 2 and module 3 is covering the second phase of the compiler. So, in second module, you can see the role of syntax analyzer, syntax error handling, and the main topic in this module is the context free grammars. Context free grammars also you have learned it in theory of computation. I mean, uh, in finite automata, you have seen the word context free grammar, you have learned it in detail, right? In the second module, we will be doing some problematic types of questions. Module 2 and module 3 is completely problematic. So, it is really interesting to learn those two modules and it will be problems with respect to the context free grammars. Here we can see the derivation and parse trees. Parse tree means syntax trees. Then eliminating the ambiguity. Then comes the basic parsing approaches. This is the most stressed area in this module. Parsing approaches. Here we can see different approaches like eliminating uh, left recursion, left factoring, top down parsing. Actually, there are two types of parsing top down parsing and bottom up parsing. In module 2, we will be learning about the top down parsing and the bottom up parsing. It is learned as a separate module. The module 3 will be about the bottom up parsing. And in the third module, that is in bottom up parsing, you will be learning about of different parsing techniques like LR parsing, constructing the SLR, LALR, canonical LR. All these topics will be including so many problematic questions and there will be really easy questions. The only thing is that you have to get the knack of uh, doing that. Once you get the flow, you will be able to do all the problems. So, the only portion in compiler design that you have to stress a little, then uh, all the remaining portion is about this parsing. Now, coming to the fourth module. In fourth module, we will be discussing about the syntax directed translation. Syntax directed translation means it's just a semantic analysis, which is the third phase of the compiler. So, syntax directed translation as well as the fourth phase of the compiler that is intermediate code generation. So, the third as well as fourth phases are discussed in module 4. So, in module 4, the first half will be regarding the third phase. So, that means this much portions will be regarding the third phase. Syntax directed translation, syntax directed definition, and in that the two topics that are important is S attributed definition and L attributed definitions. Then the runtime environments, source language issues, storage organizations, and storage allocation strategies. So these are the portions that you have to learn in the third phase on the syntax directed translation. And the second part of the fourth module is regarding the fourth phase of the compiler that is intermediate code generation. There you will be learning about different intermediate languages, their graphical representation and the main important topic here is the three address code. Then comes the quadruples and triples. So, these are the portions that we will be covering in the fourth module. And coming over to the last module that is the fifth module, it includes the last two phases of a compiler that is code optimization phase as well as the code generation phase the fifth and sixth phases of compiler so in module 5 the first part will be about the code optimization how we will optimize the code optimization is done to get a better code so how we will optimize the code the principal sources of optimization and here we will be learning in detail about the machine dependent and machine independent optimizations then comes the local and global optimization. So, these are the topics that comes under the first portion that is code optimization. And the second section of the module 5 is the code generation. What are the issues in designing a code generator? Uh, then we will be learning about a target language. Target language means the output of the compiler. It can be either a machine language or it can be a assembly language. So, there are different types of target languages. So, we will be learning about the target language and we will be learning about the symbol code generator. So, these are the portions that comes under compiler design. Having these five modules, the only portion that you have to stress a little is the second and third module that is parsing. And this fifth module, the fifth module is entirely theoretical module. Fifth module is theoretical and uh, first module, the first half of the first module will be theoretical. In the second half of the first module, there will be some problem, uh, not problems, uh, some some kind of problems like uh, recognizing the tokens, 
to count the number of tokens like that only. The second and third module will be entirely of numerical questions and fourth module will be a combination of both theoretical as well as numerical questions. And the textbook I will be referring is the one that is given in your syllabus itself. Compilers, Principal Techniques and Tools, 2006 edition and the authors are Aho A.V., Udavi Sedi and D. Ulman. The same textbook I will be following. And in the upcoming videos, I will be starting with the module 1. And in each of the videos, I, we will discuss about uh, previous year questions from each topic. So that's all for now. See you in the next video. Thank you.